Hello, everybody. So I need my community at this moment. I am going to show you a video that a good friend of mine just sent me. This is happening right now. It happened today. And it's a friend of mine that I, I know her for a few years since I practically been on TikTok. And she needs our help. She is a fellow autistic mom. Her son is a young man with autism. He also has some behavioral problems, but he went to school. He forgot his phone. And instead of the school system calling her and notifying her that he was upset about that, they called the cops, arrested him, handcuffed him, and took him to the hospital. She just notified me that she just was able to see him after hours of waiting to see him. Okay, I need you guys to share this. This is happening in Howard County, Maryland. Okay, I need you guys to share this, let the word out how this school system neglected of calling her, neglected to informing her, and just call the cops on him. That boy got handcuffed. Him not knowing what's going on. Got handcuffed, put in the car, in the back of a police car. Got taken to the hospital. She just informed me that they just, they drugged him. They didn't let him see him. She has guardianship over him. And I need you guys help. Please watch. Please share. Let's help her. Let's give her some justice. This is not right at all. Please watch. Hey guys, so I am still at the hospital waiting to see my son. Basically, Howard County kidnapped my son. They kidnapped my son right before my eyes. It was a setup. It was a straight up setup. My son forgot his phone at school and he had a little behavior challenge this morning. The school never bothered to call me to say anything. My son called me at about 11. <sighs> they kidnapped my son, guys, like that. The special education department was here. Why were they even here? My son was kidnapped. I would like help. I need somebody to do something. This is not right. He's in the back. There was an emergency petition against my will, against my son's will. It's in the police's hands now. And the school system has screwed him up. Why? Because he forgot his phone and he was upset. How do you do that to somebody? I can't see my son. I don't know what they're doing to him back there. Are they drugging him? Are they trying to kill him? What are you doing? Nobody has come up out to tell me anything other than we're getting some blood work and it's gonna take a few hours. They won't let me see him. I guess if they say, oh, well, he has to be admitted and committed, then that's the rule. They're gonna override me? No, guys, no, that's not fair. Howard County school system is not supposed to do this to kids, special education students. First of all, you actually don't even put him in school for six months, nearly six months, after, his, after he was abused. You don't even put him in school. He's sitting at home, no friends, nothing, nobody to talk to. And he just needs friends. He needs to be in a transition program. His big goal was he just wants to work in, all, in Walmart's auto department. That's all he wants to do, guys. I mean, he's got other skills and talents and he can do so much more, but give him a chance. But instead, you set him up because you screwed up. You did everything wrong. You messed up and because I filed complaints and you, now you're retaliating against me and now you're retaliating against my son. He didn't have an IEP for 16 months and I filed a complaint and because it's confirmed, now you're retaliating? Why is Howard County actually, why were they funding the school after he was choked, allegedly, by a staff at the Bancroft School in New Jersey, in Mount Laurel? Now keep in mind, this school did not even allow the detective to see the video, the surveillance camera. What they did instead, nope, you can't see it. Only the parent can see it, supposedly. 
I drove all the way to Jersey to see the video. When I got there, guess what happened? They wouldn't even let me see it after driving two and a half hours. They wouldn't let me see the video. So now, <laughs> wow. The detective had to subpoena the video. They didn't even follow the subpoena. Instead, they called the detective back saying, hey, now you can come see the video. Did you edit it? What'd you do to it? So Howard County, number one school system in the state of Maryland, decides that they're gonna continue to fund his education. I put, I brought my son home. Cause I'm like, why is this guy still, why is he still working at this facility while my son is on the ground in the middle of an investigation, an active investigation? That's not supposed to happen. Why is he there? So my son says he's scared because he told on the guy. So I brought him home, expecting Howard County to do an investigation because they're supposed to be the ones who's overseeing his care. They didn't even oversee his care. Instead, what they did was they just didn't even have a contract, like an out-of-state contract, no interstate compact agreement, nothing. Hmm. But what they did, the contract even expired between the school and the county, and they still didn't even investigate I told them the school was lying. I showed them the evidence. I had the police reports. Both police reports were conflicting. The first officer's report said that nothing happened. The second officer's report after he saw the video finally showed that there was an unreported restraint. And they did nothing. Well, what does a parent do in this situation? You do the only thing you can do, you pray. I brought my son home. But Howard County decides to fund this school's education, fund his education at this school where he's not even at. He's not even there and they're funding it. They're funding this education and marking him absent every day for six months, for, for, for almost 90 days. And they're telling me they're gonna fund it until he's 21, until his, until his, eight, until his 21st birthday, October 8th. That's what they're telling me. But they know that he's not there. They know he's not getting any service. They won't provide any service for him in Maryland. But this is the number one county that everybody's flocking to. Howard County sucks. I'm sorry. They just do. You know, don't send your kids here. Unless you want trouble. These parents who have problems, they're scared. They don't say nothing. They, they, they're intimidated by dealing with this school system. But I'm telling you right now, you need to stand up for your kids. Because if you don't, Basically, you just gonna get ran over. And now my phone's about to die. I'm out here, <laughs> left my key in the car so somebody could sell it. That's where my mind is. And I have no idea what they're doing to my child. I'm scared. Guys, if my son ends up dead, Howard County did it. They did this mess. I'm praying to God that he is okay but why won't you let me go back there? Are you trying to commit him for life? I don't know, but I'll be back. My phone's about to die.